Hi, it's Jeff Challen. So in this screencast, what I want to show you is the end of the row. So here is where you can get to once you've completed the, the image transformations that you need and pass all the test cases and done a little bit of work to the application to connect some things together. There's not a lot of work to do in the app. Uh, there is a lot of code to look at and you're gonna be a little confused and a little disoriented and stuff like that. But once you figure out where to make the changes you need to make, those changes are, are very, very minor. But let me just show you um, what you get at the end of the day. I'm gonna show you this using the emulator, but this also runs on Android devices as well. If you have an older Android device, you have to make might have to make some other changes to, to get it to run on an older device that's running an older version of Android. But on uh, current Android devices, this will work fine. And you can install it on your device, you can use it, you can take it around, show it to your friends, and have fun with it. But I'm gonna show you how to do this on the emulator. All right, so I'm gonna build the app. Uh, we have other screencasts and there's other instructions on the website about how to create um, new virtual devices, so I'm not gonna do that here. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this virtual device that I already have set up. As is typical, the first time this starts up, it takes a minute um, not only to build the Android app, sometimes we refer to this as an, as an APK, um, but also to fire up the emulator and get everything installed. The other thing I'm not going to do in the screencast is try to use the emulator uh, camera um, because that can be uh, tricky, particularly given that I have a screencast running. So I'm just going to use the emulated images that, that the camera will provide. All right, so at this point we're building everything, waiting for the emulator to, to spin up. Um, the build should complete successfully once you have everything working. Um, I'm waiting for my emulator to boot. I've got some other things running on my computer right now, so this is a little bit slower than it normally is. When you're using the emulator, I strongly suggest you know leave it up and running while you're developing. Um, because it's much, much slower to get it started up and to install something. Once it's running, then the installing the APK and sort of getting that to work is, is, a, is a much, much faster process, right? So you can iterate fairly quickly um, using the emulator. All right, so here's what my app looks like. It's booted up. Um, I've got my you know control buttons down here. And so let's take an emulated photo using the emulated camera. So uh, you can see here that I have this kind of silly, um, I think I'm supposed to be able to, to rotate this around, but it doesn't matter. I'll just, I'll just take this photo. Uh, this is the emulated picture. And then I want to accept that I'm going to use this. Once I'm done, that gets loaded into the photo display part of my, um, my MP. And now I can do the things, you know, I can apply a background. This is not particularly interesting because there's no green screen, uh, but let's see what happens if I shrink this guy down a little bit, right? So I can do this, I can shrink it. I'll, I'll move it over here a little bit. Um, there we go. You kind of like put it up on the, on the Facebook sign. Um, I can switch the background around, um, you know, that should work. I can remove the background. Uh, I can also remove the foreground image. Let me, uh, Grab it again. Oh, yeah, I had a green screen image here to show you how this works. So this is kind of fun. I can, uh, once your green screen function works, note that you can pass the test cases with the fairly simple green screen function, but to get it to actually work properly requires a little bit more work. So this is actually kind of fun. We're gonna put up a green screen down in 0403 for you guys to use to take some of your own pictures on. Uh, but here's an example of you know, me being able to um, have President Obama appear as he actually did on campus on the very stage where we have class, but you know, now I can put him in front of the Facebook sign. Uh, for some reason, he's giving a talk in a Facebook data center. Here he is, you know, someone got lost. He got lost down in the cornfields. So now he's like, you know, disappearing from view. Um, anyway, so this is kind of a demo of, of how the app works. Let me pull up, you know, just for fun, one more photo here, I get this one again, green screen it again, and then, you know, we should be able to flip it, um, you know, side to side, I can rotate it left and right. Um, I can remove this, you know, so all, all the buttons work, all the features of the app work, I can save a copy of this image for later use so that you can upload it to uh, the website as you create some of your own sort of green screen memes. 
Um, when I save a copy of it, what happens is that it puts it in a place that I can find it later. So here I can load the same one. Um, notice that once you save it, those two images are now compressed. And so, um, you know, if I move this image, I'm moving the whole thing, right? I still have this background, so that's why it looks that way, right? So, so once you save the image, we're flattening it, we're combining those two layers together, and here's what you see. All right, so that's, um, that's the demo of the MP4 solution set. I know that you can all get there. Uh, this is a new experience with Android. Uh, we hope you have a lot of fun with this MP. When you're done, you know, take some pictures with the green screen background in 0403, uh, post some fun memes on the course forum on Reddit using your photo editing application, um, and you know, get ready to have more fun with Android on later MPs.